Guys, what's up? My name's Swords, and today we're going to be talking about the MMR system of Overwatch 2. If you're not familiar, this is the system that Overwatch 2 uses to identify where your level of play is and to match you together with players of similar skill no matter what game mode you're in. Very recently did Blizzard release a part 1 deep dive giving the community a little bit of insight into the matchmaker and competitive system of Overwatch 2. This video will be explaining the systems in a relatively straightforward way to explain what this all means. If you find the video helpful, do me a solid and please like and subscribe for more Overwatch content. Let's get into it. Firstly, we want to talk about what MMR is. Blizzard defines MMR as an approximation of a player's skill level with the purpose to create as fair matches as possible across all game modes. Every player has an eternal matchmaking rating or MMR attached to them that labels their skill rating to everyone else. But Blizzard is saying that your MMR can change even if your actual skill is still the same. This could mean that the general pool of players are getting better or even worse compared to you. To better explain, Blizzard has given us a curve graph of player MMR in quick play. Using a decimal system with values ranging from negative six to six, can we see the skill distribution of all players in quick play when looking at this graph? Now, let me explain what you're looking at here. At the top of this curve is where a majority of players are in terms of skill level, which, according to Blizzard, is just on the lower half of this chart. I speculate this is where a majority of players in gold and platinum are. To make it even easier to understand, I went on ahead and made an approximation of where each rank stands on this graph so you can try to see where you're at in the MMR of quick play. You've got a majority of players in gold and platinum. Then, as the curve drops and gets higher on the scale past diamond, the variation in skill starts to thin out as the games get harder, except from Grandmaster to Top 500, where there's essentially 10 different levels of skill within GM. Blizzard says your MMR will rise if you improve your skill and win more games against players of your current MMR level. That all game modes look at MMR when putting together a match, not the player's skill tier or division to put together matches. In other words, the rank you see in a player's profile is not the same as their MMR. To be straightforward, MMR is only adjusted after winning or losing a game, or if a player returns after not logging in for a long time. MMR is also not affected at the beginning of a season from a soft rank reset in competitive. Now let's talk about what happens when you group up with your friends. Obviously we all love our friends, but sometimes your friends aren't at the same skill tier or have different MMRs. So what the matchmaker does is that it'll try to find some type of balance between both teams. However, it's not perfect. Finding that balance can be a challenge for the matchmaker as it collectively is putting together an average skill rating for each team and trying to put it together against another team with a close enough skill rating. But it's got issues right now. An example listed in the blog post is you could be playing with a group of your friends and your tank might have the highest MMR between you all while your teammates have overall lower MMR. And they could put you up against a tank with a way lower MMR while their teammates have higher MMR. The matchmaker sees that both teams have the same average skill rating, so it finds that game balanced, even though it could be incredibly one-sided in one aspect. Have no fear though, changes are coming to the game within the next couple months which should dramatically reduce these kinds of games by pairing up similarly rated players within the roles themselves against each other by pairing each player with another player on the enemy team so that it seems like teams are almost mirroring each other in terms of skill. I look forward to this to be honest. In the blog post, they even talk about how they've implemented a system to help newer players pick up the game with a first-time user experience. Blizzard noticed that around launch that newer players were losing a lot of games, and their win rate was not leveling out anywhere around 50%. This is because newer players had started out with an MMR matching that of a silver player, so they changed the starting MMR for newer players to that of a bronze 5 player so they could work themselves up as they learn the game making the matches fairer and more fun. Tell that to your friend on the fence about trying out the game. Which by the way y'all, if you're enjoying the commentary, please do me a solid and follow me on Twitch and catch my next live stream. Y'all vibing with me, so let me vibe with you. Oh my God. That concludes the blog post, so let's talk about my thoughts on the matchmaking system. Honestly, it's pretty broken. On paper, the matchmaker thinks it's creating the most balanced matches it can, but clearly it still needs a lot of work. According to this blog post, Blizzard is telling us that if you're a Platinum player with a high MMR, it is possible for you to get placed against Master or even GM players if your MMR is high enough because competitive doesn't care about your skill rank, at least the one of your career profile, no. It only cares about what your MMR is. Instead of playing through the ranks themselves, you're constantly going to be playing against players of your MMR, which if you want to improve and don't care about rank, makes perfect sense. You will improve in ranked, but you're going to have to grind to climb and your skill division won't match what rank you truly are. They're still working on it, but 
The system isn't perfect. Thanks for watching, y'all. Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Take it easy, and peace out.